Waves of Time, a poem by Eric Jacobs. The powerful crashing on the rocks, the hunting eagles and praying hawks. It slows down time for me on land to see the waves wash up on sand. A sea of white caps at high tide, an unforgiving vastness and clouded sky. With every wave that comes to shore, brings newfound peace unlike before. That hurried life which takes control, keeps us hostage and traps our soul. No tracks or roads can hold the sea, it carves its way wild and free. No matter if I drive, swim, walk, or climb, there is no peace like the waves of time. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I had a great time out here. These little roadside free camping spots are just all over the place. And I'm actually going to go find another one today to boondock at. This is Highway 1, and they're just all over the place. Actually, the little SUV that was parked behind me was full of uh, four people who are camping down down there where I filmed yesterday, camping down there, 37, 35 degrees at night. Bunch more people, bunch more spots. Everybody's enjoying Highway 1. It's great. That's what I love to see. Especially Christmas, December. You know, it's getting cold at night, like I said, it's in the, it's in the mid-30s. That, that's enough to crank on the buddy heater. And the daytime right now, where I'm at, uh, 65 to 68 degrees, we're not even reaching 70. I'm behind on my trip, you know, because of everything that's happened. It's amazing that I need to back on the road this quickly. Obviously, I'm not going to make it to courtside by Christmas. That's what I was trying to do, and that's what I can't, I just can't do it anymore. Even if, even if I had the gas money right now to just book it all the way there, you know, it would be over 100 miles a day. I just no reason to do it so keep doing what I'm doing and I'll get there eventually Christmas is probably gonna be somewhere near the Anaheim area LA area is probably where I'm gonna end up being but we'll see yeah, it's just parking all over the place the need to read the comments below all the videos. I, I will
will warn you guys, uh, you know, I don't really have any control over that whatsoever. Absolutely, it's land of the free. You can say whatever you want. You can be an anonymous person and say things that you would never say to my face, fabricate stuff, or you can just say, I appreciate what you're doing, Eric, but I will say this, if you're reading it and you don't like something that somebody else has written, uh, no need to come to me personally and say, Eric, please remove this person because as I've talked about before, YouTube does not allow me that option. If I see somebody that says, Eric, you're a effing this and your mama's this and this and this, I go click on the little triangle and I go to the option that uh, says ban user from this channel. And in my mind, I've, I banned that person, but guess what? YouTube doesn't ban them. <laughs> All YouTube does is ban them from my eyes. You would think they'd give video creators a little more control over their channel, but no. Banning someone just bans them from my eyes. So you guys still see it, and I don't, which is really almost worse because then I go through the comments sometimes and I see you people talking to yourselves, apparently, but you're not. You're talking to my haters. I just don't get to see their comments. So it's just like a one-sided conversation. It's really confusing. I've already made videos where I call out YouTube for this and ask them to fix it, and they just refuse to. You know why? Because they count those comments in the popularity of your channel and the interactivity of your channel. So they don't want to get rid of them because advertisers consider your channel better because of your haters. So what does that mean? That means my haters are basically paying my paycheck, and YouTube doesn't want to get rid of those because they're paying, they're paying me. I guess that makes sense. If that helps to think of it like that for you too, then cool. Otherwise, if you don't want to see those kinds of stuff, you can do exactly what I have to do every single day. Ban them. I could take three weeks getting down to LA just riding Highway 1 all the way down pulling off all these nice little spots that's my view uh, for right now I've got the uh, solar panel tilted because the Sun is gonna be directly here you know south is right here so at midday I'll get plenty of high Sun Hopefully nobody parks behind me and blocks me in tomorrow, but I'm going to be here for the entire day, pretty much. Hey guys, Jax here, along with his human servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. We got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later. <laughs>